Good evening. I hope you guys are, are doing well, and whether you are or not, you're in the right place. And uh, we are just so blessed to be able to have these, these life groups. They're, they're really a, a, a place to, to grow in, in the Lord, a place to learn, a place to create friendships. And, and I pray you really take advantage of that. Uh, one thing I want to really encourage uh, you guys in is, is really to, um, as, as discussion begins tonight, to, to really just open yourself up and, and just allow uh, the Lord to cause you maybe to step out in places you, you, you're, you're a little fearful of or uh, wouldn't normally do, but uh, just to grow. That's what these groups are about. They're, they're about growing uh, together, growing deeper, growing in the Lord. Uh, and uh, I just want to encourage you um, to take that step and just, you know, in, during the conversation, you know, share your heart. And, um, the more people that share, the more people that are involved, uh, the better it's, it's going to be for everyone. And, and God's just going to bless. And so uh, my prayer is that the Lord would just really use these groups to, to be a real blessing uh, in each and every one of your lives. Also want to encourage you guys to remember to invite people. Uh, you know, just uh, at church or um, there in the neighborhood, uh, whoever it is you come in contact with, you'd like to invite out to uh, the life group. I want to really encourage you to do that. Uh, certainly at church, you know, those maybe people you know that, that aren't in a group, really kind of just draw them in. God, God uses that so radically. You know, it's the love of Jesus that, that just is what we need. And, and that's a, a practical touch of love just saying we love you we'd love to have you in our group and, and begin to really draw people into the group well sunday we started actually into the gospel of john as you well know um and uh you know it, it was it's a very theological section that we're in you know usually when you're looking at a gospel it's a narrative it's a story of the life of jesus and the people surrounding him uh, and, and so there's not a lot of theology. It's, it's, it's more kind of what he did, his acts and things like that. As John, as we saw, starts with these first 18 verses of really just declaring, this is what I'm going to write about. I'm going to write about Jesus, but who is Jesus? And that's what we talked about, who is Jesus? And, you know, many people have different ideas of who Jesus is. And, uh, you know, I, I would illustrate it like this. Um, if I think most of you know Pastor Mike Tiemann. And, um, you know, if I was to say, hey, you guys know Mike, and uh, I begin to describe Mike to, you know, Mike, the guy with really long blonde hair, uh, you know, really smooth skin, real, no facial hair. He's about six foot three. Uh, he's a really good basketball player. Um, and, you know, he's, he's just an incredible um, you know, the outgoing kind of guy, he's always talking, you can never shut him up. You would say, um, that's not Mike Tiemann that I know. Mike Tiemann I know is, well, he's got glasses, brown hair, he's got a lot of facial hair. Uh, he's definitely not 6'3". When I hang out with him, he's sometimes kind of quiet and not really that outgoing. Nice guy, but... That's not the mic I know. You see, it's important to know who Jesus is because people will say, oh, I know Jesus, but the Jesus that they know isn't the Jesus of the Bible. We want to make sure the Jesus we know is the Jesus of the Bible. And that's what John does. He really brings us into who Jesus is. And so tonight we're going to talk about that here in our group. We're going to talk about who is Jesus to you? Well, what does Jesus look like to you? And I don't mean that did he have long hair and a beard, but who is the person of Jesus to you? And and, and to kind of, you know, express that and, and begin to explain that. And that's why we're studying John is because we're going to learn more and more who Jesus really is. And so I encourage you to have an open heart. You know, I closed the message with our, our last uh, point there, and that is Jesus is life. I think that's the most important point. Jesus is life. He is certainly the life of God. I talked about The Pursuit of God by A.W. Tozer, a great book uh, that speaks about the intimate relationship that we're to have with Christ and the one that he wants us to have. We close with John 17, verses 1 through 3, 
where in verse 3, Jesus says, This is eternal life, that they might know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. You know, God wants you and I to know him personally and intimately. And I think that's such an incredible thing, a privilege that you and I have, that we can know the creator of, of the universe. And again, when we know who Jesus is, we understand that, as we saw, that he's eternal. We saw that he's the word. We saw that he is God. We saw that he's the creator. And then, fifthly, we saw he's, he's the life. And that life, that that just the life of God that is breathed into our lives, it changes our life, doesn't it? It changes life. Jesus is life. Know him, I pray. I pray that you would get to know him in such a powerful way and that, that tonight the discussion would be around that, around the intimate relationship with Jesus. And I would just pose this to you. How would you go about defining the ways that you, you and I can get to know the Lord in a better way? Uh, certainly, you know, prayer, the word, experiencing God's presence, being together, and just that personal and intimate time that we have with the Lord. I want to encourage you to experience that and, and enjoy that. And so I just pray the Lord blesses you guys tonight as you uh, meet and, and the Lord is just with you uh, and guides you. And, and we, we as a staff, and I know myself and my wife are praying for each and every one of you. The Lord just does a great work in you. God bless you guys and have a great, great group tonight.